What's up everybody? Welcome back to A Cherry Tree. I'm Kenny and we're going on an adventure to find the space station tonight. It's uh, nine, just after 9 p.m. and the sun is about to set, if it hasn't already. The International Space Station is supposed to pass over our location at 10 p.m. tonight, and it's supposed to be visible for six minutes. The space station travels over 17,000 miles per hour, and it circulates the globe to see 16 sunrises and sunsets in a day. I don't exactly know how that works in a day, but at least 16, maybe in 24 hours. That is just so wild to think about. Anyways, it's coming through our atmosphere. It's coming through our view just after sunset tonight. And I'm gonna go try to take pictures of it. Come along. I hope you enjoy the pretty sunset views over these mountains next to us. I'm going up to a place called Mohawk Creek Lookout. It's been months since I've been there. So I am really excited to go back after a little time off and um, wander my way through the forest over here and check out if I can capture pictures of the space station. Let's go. All right, well, I saw it and I got pictures of it. So yeah, you know, it wasn't where I expected it to be. Um, and of course it was somewhere different. So um, I adapted at the last minute, but I got good, good pictures of it, I'm pretty sure. I got here just in time to catch the sunset. So that was beautiful. It was so pretty tonight. Some beautiful colors over the Willamette Valley. I just love living here in uh, the Southern Willamette Valley. It's so beautiful. I'm super excited that I got those pictures of the space station. As it was going across the sky, there were no blinking lights, and, and that's what I was reading, that it, it shouldn't be blinking lights because it doesn't have any, but it lights up because it's the reflection from the sun, just like the moon lights up. And so it's so cool to see that go through the sky at such a quick pace. I was looking over the horizon, and I saw another uh, craft going through the sky, and I thought, oh my gosh, maybe that one's it too. Or maybe that one is it, and the one I've been looking at is the plane. So I changed my camera around and 
um, as the first one faded away, which I think was the actual space station. So I tried to get this other um, craft, but that one was much too low to the horizon. And then as I was watching it and capturing pictures, I could tell it was blinking and that's the sign of an aircraft. So that was not the space station. So I'm definitely sure that I saw the space station come up over the hills behind me and I got some pictures of it through the trees. Uh, it was so cool. It wasn't quite over the town of Eugene from my angle, which would have been super awesome. But nonetheless, I got pictures of it and uh, really positive night, really awesome thing. Taking a couple hours to do this when it's just a split second in time, it's just five, six minutes. It's only visible for six minutes. And so, you know, you can't even have the best look at it for the entire six minutes. So it's really just a very, very short period of time when you're trying to get all your equipment set up and perfectly ready to capture this moment. I'm really excited with how it turned out, at least just looking through the camera. And I'm, I'm super psyched to see what it looks like in post. And once I do the pictures and, and make them look as, as best they can. Thank you everyone for watching my channel. I really appreciate everyone who supports me and supports the channel. Thank you so much. Please, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel and I will bring you as much content as I can. I try to get out a video every couple weeks and sometimes it takes a little longer. So thank you for sticking in there and being patient. And I appreciate everyone who watches my videos. Thank you so much for supporting me. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.